Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. And this time it's yet another of Yethro Tales Deluxe Editions. Now, I have been buying these a little sort of on and off for the past few years, but I did not get into them or I weren't aware of them early enough um, to get some of them and um, also some of the re relatively recent ones uh, disappeared far quicker than I was able to um, to procure them so I have uh, holes in my collection and this has been my most annoying Hole, uh, but it has been released, as some of you have probably been aware of. Um, it's been ordered from uh, the Norwegian Plata Company, or the record company, which was, um, or still is, a record DVD uh, book store here in Norway, but now it's mainly online. Uh, I think it only has one shop left here in the center of Oslo, but it used to have, uh, whew, probably is up towards 20 shops uh, around uh, in Norway but that uh, that was a fast decline so anyway this is the Christmas Yule in Norwegian Yule yeah Yule um, advertisement I thought you might think, think that was a little bit interesting so here we go let's get rid of some paperwork on it this so this is um this is the second or is it the first reprint of this edition of Yethra Toes Thick as a Brick and <clears throat> several of Yethra Toes records um as far as the, the special editions over the years, I've actually heard before because I've had them either on an old vinyl record or I've had them on a regular CD. This one I have never heard, never owned in any way or fashion. Let's see if I can get my little Pearl Jam. guitar pick here and get the plastic off. Okay. This is lying on my doorstep this morning, which I'm very happy about because I'm leaving for Denmark in a couple of days and I won't be back until late January. That means I don't have to bother anyone to come and get it. Yeah, so I know that the uh, recent vinyl reproduction has the whole newspaper sleeve reproduced. And here it is. So here it is reproduced as part of the book. That's really, that's really cool. And this is of course something people who have bought the first variant of this have known for years. But I was never prepared to pay that extra for it on Discogs. Even though I'm um, sort of late to the party, uh, I was born in 1971. Um, so Yesrochol, they were not a band that I got into through influences of uh, my older brothers, like so many other 60s bands. Um, I got into them because my dad got me this 40 album history of rock 
collection or he got me a subscription for it so uh, i remember listening to yethra toll the yethra toll side it was mostly one side per group only the beatles and a couple of other bands got a either one or, or two records in that in that collection um and i really i remember oh i thought it was so cool the whole uh vibe of the music uh the song his voice uh and of course that that amazing flute who uses a flute in rock music that was um, yeah i just thought that was really really cool look at that nice and royal air force battle of britain type thing classified ad I think I'll have to bring this with me to Denmark so I can have a real good look at it. I don't like schlepping my records back and forth between Denmark and Norway uh, whenever I'm on vacation, like I used to do. So many broken CD covers over the years. Um, so that's one of the few things about streaming that makes me happy. Is not having to sit around choosing what records to bring on vacation all the time. But otherwise, hey, there's a good photo. <laughs> Look at this. Um, weirdos. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, apart from that, streaming has just, for me, it's just uh, made it so I buy even more music. Because now I, I got to, now I can sit around. It's, instead of going to the record shop and listening to um, listening to a record, or deciding whether or not to buy it like we did in the old days, I can now do that at home and then order it online. So I guess I'm one of the few people in the world that were streaming actually has um, given the artists more revenue. <laughs> oh, look here. These are some of my memories of making, of the making of the album. Well, that's something to say. So to me, it seems like this set has a thicker book more pages although as far as I can tell um, fewer discs so there are no live stuff or DVDs here I think so is this yes Tull does Monty Python Not quite, Mr. Gumby. My brain hurts. Yeah, as you can hear, this isn't planned in any way. I'm just rambling on. Um, well, I hope you see this and go, well, I actually think I will get this now that this is out again. Again, we have Steve Wilson doing the remix. And here are the discs. I always love and have always loved the Chrysalis logo. So this set was original in 2015. Thick as a brick, CD1. And thick as a brick, the DVD side. Twelve. Hmm. 
I don't really, I don't know much about the backstory about the whole uh, first edition of this. So, sorry about that. The CD features is Thick as a Brick, original album remixed, and DVD is, yeah, okay, it's 5.1 DTS and Dolby Digital, surround sound, stereo mix, right, yeah, and this is the 40th anniversary set, or it was the 40th anniversary set, it's still is, it's a reproduction of the 40th anniversary set of Yes Retal, Thick as a Brick, out again, run out and get it while you still can before having to go online and buying it from some picker or whatever you call them. <laughs> um, so yeah, a good, um, a good idea for a Christmas gift for someone you know who loves this kind of music but then again why would you be watching this video hope you enjoyed uh, looking through this with me i wish you a nice advent time and christmas when that arrives and hope to see you in a later video please click on like if you liked it and subscribe if you can thanks for watching bye